Hello everybody. Well, it's a beautiful day. The sun's out. I think today is the day we're gonna try to cut a piece of lumber off this here sawmill. As you can see it's not uh I hadn't cut anything on it, it's still brand new. I did uh it was of course dark last night. I got the engine oil in, the gas, got everything tightened down, leveled up, and I did run it for about maybe 10 minutes. I ran it at full throttle, ran it at idle, spun the blade, make sure everything's working like it should, but uh, just hadn't cut anything yet. Went back and double checked the track, hold everything up, double checked, triple checked, and my OCD felt satisfied and I think we're ready and you can see it's got 0 0.2 tenths of an hour on it so far that's from running it last night checking the engine out I've got the blade tensioned up that said on the uh, per the instructions the initial run just leave it dry, don't, don't put the uh, lubricant on the blade, your water, and uh, just run the blade dry for the first 30 minutes and that breaks your belts in. So we're gonna do it that way. I just wanted to show y'all there's not a bit of sawdust on it. This is my first time ever using a sawmill and this is the first time this sawmill has ever been used. So we're fixing to find out if I can do this see how the mill works so i'm gonna go over there and get a log and a tractor and i'm gonna get a load of log on it and see what we can do first log now as you can tell when I cut this tree it started falling before I wanted it to <laughs> so it split so it's already got a flat spot on it so we're gonna lay that down first on the bunks and start cutting it from there and it's just under eight feet long so this is kind of just gonna be a test log and uh, I should still get a lot of a lot of use out of the lumber but back here on the, the widest part is 20 inches, and that's right at the max of what this saw will cut. So I found out on the uh, log stops, of course, these bunks are not 20 inches wide. They're maybe about 17, 18 maybe. So your stops are here. So I can't put, I'm not gonna put the base on a stop. I went further down and put a stop here. And right here, it's about 14 inches. So that fits good and that lets the base of it 
I can line it up between the blade guides. So I'm going to work on that some, getting it straightened up. I just wanted to show you all that one. That's going to be the first log. All right. Got him on there all clamped down. Ready to go. Of course, went back and double checked everything again. I'm going to sit y'all on the tripod and I'm going to make the first cut. So, like I said, first cut on this mill and first time I've ever run a sawmill. So, y'all try to keep the pointing and jeering and laughing down to a minimum. I'd sure appreciate it. So, all right. I'm going to sit y'all on this tripod. We're going to get started. Grab your popcorn. Just so you know, first pull, it's cranked up every time on the first pull. So, I'm already happy. say first cut successful I counted to 10 I still got all my fingers that's good all right and we'll flip him over and do some more measuring and figuring and we'll make another cut hopefully the daylight will hang on to us a little while all right we got this side squared up now we got the long uh, log stops in it and I put a jack under one end so I can jack it up and get the get the heart in the center front and rear top and bottom however you want to look at it so we're going to make another cut and that will give us two square sides to work off of we'll see how that works
right, here's the finished camp from that log. It turned out pretty good, I'd say. So far, my first impressions of this thing is, I love it. Let's see what the inside looks like after making those cuts. See how nasty we are. Not, not too bad. It's cutting really nice. Especially through this pine. It's just smooth as it can be. Belt. Belt doing good. So far I'm I'm plum tickled with it. Running out of daylight here, I might throw it on there and make a time lapse of me cutting the two by sixes. Yeah. All right. Well, I appreciate y'all watching. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, and hope I didn't make too much of a mockery out of the woodworking skill. I'm still learning. Like I said, this is my first one, so I'm anxious to keep on learning myself something. <laughs> y'all have a good one. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next one.